Public service announcement. Women can afford their own meals. Serial daters are the worst for a free meal. Can we maybe just establish as a norm that dating shouldn't be a form of prostitution? Both parties are responsible for choosing where they go and what they consume, and both parties are liable for any costs incurred. It's batshit insane that in the 21st century people are trying to sell this narrative that a man should be a provider, and it's somehow dishonorable to ask a girl out, and then expect her not to act like a sullen parasite when the bill arrives. I've never run into this scenario in life where the man expected me to pay. Every first date I've gone on, the man has taken it on himself to pay. But also, I'm not an expensive first date. To avoid that issue completely, I just always pay for my share, so the girl won't feel obligated to anything and no hard feelings, if she decides, I'm not the one for her. This is why I as a woman make it clear to the man I don't want him paying for my shit. Like I don't like it. So he gotta respect that or he ain't getting a date. I got divorced about a year ago, I've been on close to 21st dates in the past year. Off the top of my head, I think I've paid for dinner for all the dates that involved dinners. I have zero problem with that, it's not a financial hardship for me and I go in expecting to pay. Of the roughly 20, I'd say 18 were real first dates. They came in with intentions at least as sincere as mine. Sometimes I ended up not being into them, sometimes they ended up not being into me, sometimes we weren't into each other. Occasionally things would go so well that there would be more dates. All that is fine we both made an honest effort, and not every swing is a home run. But of the 20, I'd say about two were literally just there to score a free dinner, etc. There's a definite difference between she ended up not being into me and I never actually had any chance at all. Why people make a big deal out of this? Because men are for the most part still expected to pay, especially true in places like the USA, or they get instantly rejected and labeled as cheap. Because plenty of people shamelessly admit to going out on dates just for a freebie. And although I definitely agree that paying for things does not entitle you to anything can't have it any other way it's kinda shitty that within these cultural dynamics women feel entitled to men paying for everything. I keep seeing lots and lots of excuses for this behavior, but it all comes down to feeling entitled to men paying for dates. And with all the complaints on how hard it is to find a partner as a guy, just imagine the amount of money you are expected to spend just for an eventual chance at finding someone who likes you may advice. Just go for cheap dates or go Dutch on the expenses. Maybe a lot of women will judge you, but cest la vie, got to value yourself and your own hard-earned money. P.S. Before someone goes to the who invites should pay excuse, women are also expecting men to invite them. I always tell the woman I would love to pay for the date, but am open to splitting if they feel more comfortable doing that. Then I respect whatever decision they want to make about it. Every date I've been on has responded well to this. I'd rather ease the tension and focus on what matters which is getting to know the other person in with. If you insist on paying for the date then women, rightfully, might feel uncomfortable because some men will use it against them in the future. Splitting the bill might not be what she wants from a date, but addressing that you're flexible and open about it says you care about how comfortable she is and that's not really a big deal for you. Yeah they can afford food but that doesn't mean they wouldn't like to get a free meal anyway I had this happen to me where a girl literally had no interest in me and openly told me that only after I had paid for her dinner. Social media promotes videos where women brag about going on dates to get a free 100 meal and videos where they would never go 50-50 on a date. Of course most women are not like that, but we have all seen plenty of those videos, so when she doesn't text back after the first date, some men might think it just another foodie call. Well then here is a public announcement for women, stop letting guys pay for your meal, go 5050 problem solved. And another one stop thinking that all a guy want out of you is sex, if he dumps you after having had sex. Maybe he realized that you just weren't that interesting overall, and was not someone they wanted to pursue long term. Why are men so obsessed with the concept of women taking advantage of them for a free meal? Because it's happened to me at least a dozen times, and I have been in conversations with my sisters and their friends where they laugh about how they just say yes for free food and fun times even when they have no interest in a dude and then they cut him off afterward. You're looking at their complaints as coming from just one date, but that's not where the resentment is coming from. If they have a lot of first dates while trying to find someone, that cost of paying for all those dates adds up fast, so men paying for all the dates is becoming less popular. It's an outdated practice that stems from when women didn't have rights, and most young women from middle class, and rich families didn't work, so the men were expected to pay. Times have changed. Most women work and most have good careers and can certainly pay their own way. So why is it still expected that the man should always pay? That doesn't make sense anymore and more men are becoming increasing resentful of the expectation. 
And again, if they've gone on several first dates in a month, it adds up, and they start feeling taken advantage of. Not from just one date, but from multiple dates adding up. So maybe women should start stepping up, and offering to pay their own way rather than expecting a free meal on a first date. Why do you have an issue with paying for your own meal? And I am a woman who always offers to pay my own way. I'm there to spend time with them, and get to know them I don't think he needs to buy my meal to impress me. It's a truth universally acknowledged that no one is more afraid of gold diggers than someone with no gold. It's easier for them to blame someone else than take rejection. Louder for the men at the back. It's a cope, so they don't have to evaluate their behavior on the date that made her decide not to see him again, 